your next act, please go absolutely nuts right now and welcome to the stage, Charity Work! Hello, hello, hello. Oh, I am so excited to be here. Some of you may have seen me before. Others are giving me a very confused look. Just like Hannah Montana has really let herself go. <laughs> Disney Channel really did me in. They took my best years. No, I'm being silly. <laughs> my name's not Hannah, my name is Charity Work. And as you can probably tell by my voice, I am a thespian. <laughs> it's true, I love a bit of theatre. I'm also a drag queen, of course which is a lot of fun in this political climate. I'm sure some of you are probably thinking that you didn't vote yes to this. <laughs> well, it's a slippery slope, my friends. <laughs> Should have read the fine print. <laughs> As you can see, I do like to get dressed up. I come from a pretty flamboyant family. When I was 18, my dad bursts into the kitchen and is just like, I can't hold it in anymore. And I'm like, oh my God, Dad, what is it? And he's like, oh, I don't know how to tell you this, but um, you're gay. <laughs> and I'm just like completely stunned. You know, I'm like sitting there in my sequin gown, just like, <laughs> how does he know? <laughs> My mum reckoned she knew when I was seven and I purchased my first CD, which was Jennifer Lopez, Let's Get Loud. <laughs> an underrated banger of our time. Woo! The kids at school seemed to know long before me or my friends were even aware. Like, I remember this one year, these boys in the year above us were kind of heckling me and my friends at the lockers. And my friend just screams down the corridor, we're not gay, okay? We're creative which is like a really good sentiment, yeah? But like, it doesn't do much to stop the bullying. Like now we're just known as the creative poofs. <laughs> Thankfully though, my parents have always encouraged me to perform, although this is definitely not what they had in mind. I get a lot of like, oh, I think it's just great what you're doing with the stand-up. But I have to ask, why the drag? And you know, I wanna be honest with them, so I'm like, look, I do drag because you didn't love me enough as a child. <laughs> nah, that's not why. It's because they got divorced. <laughs> we laugh to mask the pain, don't we? <laughs> so when my parents were still together, my mum used to worry a lot that I would get picked on because I was a pretty effeminate child. I know, shocking. <laughs> she used to set my dad the task of taking my brother and I on boys trips. Now. My brother's not gay, but he is a musician, so. <laughs> he teeters. <laughs> For one of these trips, my dad chose to take us to the Melbourne Air Show. Yuck. For those of you who have never had the pleasure of the Melbourne Air Show, let me just do a quick reenactment for you, all right? Oh look, another fucking plane. <laughs> so after about an hour of that, we had had more than enough. We're in this like hot, sweaty field in the middle of Avalon and we just need to get the hell out of there. So we fall back into the car and that's when dad takes one look at the hundreds of cars backed up in the queue to leave. And one look at the completely empty emergency exit lane. So naturally, my dad starts driving full pelt down the ladder. But what he doesn't realise is about halfway down, there's a gate specifically for emergency vehicles. So he comes to a screeching halt as these panicked paramedics start running towards our car. And my dad just slowly turns to me like, act sick. And I'm like, what? And my dad's like, act sick. And I'm like, oh my God. And then he starts rolling down my window as I turn to face the paramedics, just like, everything hurts and I'm dying. 
Now, I'm not saying it was like gold Logie worthy performance, <laughs> but I did get given a bag of jelly beans for low blood sugar, so. <laughs> Who's the real winner, Grant Denya? I think it was around that age that my parents started to realise my talent for performing and I was put forward as the host of my primary school's very Catholic Christmas production, Jesus Christ, This Is Your Life, <laughs> true title. I remember in the interview portion of the evening, I just decided I would start grilling Mary with improvised questions. <laughs> I was just sort of like, and why do you think it's acceptable to let your underage son drink so much wine? And she declined to comment because she was not a professional. <laughs> Needless to say, some people had some opinions about my performance in the parish newsletter that week. But it's like I always say, opinions are like assholes. Mine's the best. <laughs> Thanks guys, I'm Charity Work, have a great night! Give it up for charity work!